birthplace of democracy, a word that comes from the Greek demokratia, meaning rule of the people. Here, an elected council of 500 citizens is meeting to debate everything from foreign policy to democracy itself. People of the council, if you please, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Pericles, defender of democracy, the people's rule, a government of citizens, the people's tool. Yeah. Oh, and right in the middle of the big Pericles song and dance number. I'll get it. Oh, why, thank you, Fred. Uh, now, while Fred is fixing the projector, let's fast forward to the late 18th century. <laughs> With the end of the American Revolution, the first modern democracy was born. And to this day, in democracies around the world, everyone has a say in government and expresses this right by voting in elections. And of course, we'll all get a chance to see the democratic process at work when our two candidates for school president, Ruby Snarkus and Billy O'Toole, campaign like real politicians. <laughs> uh, does that mean they're gonna badmouth each other like the politicians on TV? No way. This is going to be a good, clean campaign. Right, Ruby? Right. May the best person win. Wonder how long that's gonna last. Vote for O'Toole. Don't be a fool. Vote for O'Toole. Don't be a fool. Vote for O'Toole. Zap zap a doobie. Vote for Ruby. Zap zap a doobie. Vote for Ruby. Hi, Billy. How's your campaign going? Great. My unofficial polls put me in the lead. But don't worry. There's still plenty of campaigning to go. Oh, I'm not worried. My opinion polls put me way in front. Good luck. Well, good luck. Zap, zap a doobie! Vote for Ruby! Don't be a fool. Vote for Ruby! Zap, zap a doobie! Oh, wasting their time campaigning when the race has already been won by the last person they'd ever expect! Raticus, you're missing your cues! Sorry, Phantom. Uh, from the top. The race has already been won by the last person they'd ever expect. And who might that be, Phantom? Me! Oh, long have I waited for this day to come. Years after my one and only failed election bid. It's time for the election results. But before I proceed, I'd like to thank both candidates for school president, Earl P. Sidebottom and... Mr. Whiskers, our class hamster. <laughs> Mr. Whiskers receives... Oh, my! It looks like every vote in the class. <laughs> and Earl receives... Oh, no votes. Uh, but wait, uh, someone did leave him a little something. <laughs> oh. Mr. Whiskers! <laughs> I was so caught up in the excitement that I even forgot to vote for myself! But this time, things will be different! Radicus, we petitioned to put my name on the ballot last week. I should have received a response by now. Bills, bills, bills. Ah! A letter from Flying Rhino Junior High. Read it to me. Dear Sewer, yes, sir. We are unable to grant your request as you are no longer a student of Flying Rhino Junior High. Nevertheless, we were impressed with your petition, particularly the support shown you by the likes of Abraham Lincoln and Cleopatra, Queen of the Nile. Didn't I tell you to make up names for the petition? Yeah, but using real names was so much easier. You fool! They'll regret this. I'll make a mockery of their little democratic election and see to it that neither of their precious candidates wins. B but if they don't win, then who will? Somebody's got to win. <laughs> and so concludes my presentation on mudslinging in politics. Yeah!
Fred, when we refer to politicians mudslinging, we mean that they are saying bad things about each other. They don't sling real mud. <laughs> By the way, where did you put the goldfish? <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> Let's move on. It's time for our two candidates to present their election platforms. Remember, no one's a winner when you don't play fair. What? That goes against everything I stand for as an evil genius villain. The rules are no mudslinging. Now, who has a question for the candidates? Hey. I'd like a new class mascot. Something a little livelier, like, say, a ferocious cray squirrel, or one of those squealing wild pigs. If I'm elected, my first act as school president will be to get us a ferocious crazed squirrel. Yeah! yeah. Way to go! If I'm elected, I'll get the ferocious crazed squirrel and a wild pig with horns, and maybe even one of those lizards that bite and won't let go, even if you cut off their heads. Yeah. Speaking of lizards, did you know my opponent mails herself extra cards on Valentine's Day just so she can look more popular? Remember the time someone set off a stink bomb in the music room and we all had to stay after school? Well, it turns out that someone was Billy O'Toole. Ah! <gasps> my opponent copied off Lydia during the last chemistry test. Shutting down this school will be easier than I thought. <laughs> My opponent pretended he was sick so he wouldn't have to take the test. Liar! Cheater! No mudslinging! Oh. Now that is a major mudslinging. Hey, good thing it's not real mud. Class, I want you to welcome Hubert R. Dewey. Uh, Hubert just transferred over from Butternut Creek Junior High. I'd like to announce my candidacy for school president. And I want to start off by promising more junk food for the cafeteria and better desserts. Yeah! Yeah! Empty promises. And a new couch with magic fingers for the teacher's lounge. Oh! <laughs> I'll fight for less homework. Yeah! I'll demand more field trips. Yeah! And I will shut down the school yeah! and turn it into a museum honoring the greatest villain who ever lived. Yeah! What was that last one? So, ask not what your school can do for you, ask what you can do for me. And since you're asking, a vote for Hubert R. Dewey is a vote for me. I don't know who he is, but I hate him already. <laughs> yes! Everything is going according to plan. With me as your campaign manager, it will only be a matter of time before you are... School president! <laughs> yes! Today, flying Rhino Junior High. Tomorrow, Arkansas! And next, the world! <laughs> According to these polls, your popularity has been dropping ever since you started this negative campaign against Billy. Keep this up, and you'll hand Hubert the victory. And if he wins, he'll turn the school into a creepy old museum. Some people will say anything to get elected. 
As your new campaign manager, my advice is to stop your dirty campaign. It's like cheating in a baseball game. Sure, you may win, but do you really want to win this way? <coughs> Excuse me, I was here first. But I reserved the cafeteria first. Well, I don't care. I'm giving my speech anyway. So am I. Hey! Where, Where is, is everybody? everybody? When you put someone down, you end up looking bad. That's why no one came to see you. Where were you guys? At the Hubert R. Dewey rally. Boy, if he can run a classroom half as well as he plays the ukulele... He's got my vote for sure. Forget Hubert and Billy, vote for me! Zap zap a doobie, don't vote for Ruby. You'd be a fool to vote for O'Toole! It's just an election! Why can't we be nice about it? Ooh, they make things so easy for me! A parade float? Boy, Hubert has some great ideas. Wonder who his campaign manager is. The Phantom! That's who. <laughs> Vote for Hubert R. Dewey. Hubert R. Dewey, he is a kind student. Why don't I come in and help you file down those bunions, Mrs. Haversham? Hubert R. Dewey, he is a brave student. Hey, quit shoving! I, I mean, here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. Ow! <laughs> My eyes! Hubert R. Dewey he is a sensitive student. Watch out, little dear. Watch out for the hunters. No, not the mummy. Why? Why? Take me instead. Vote Hubert R. Dewey. For school president. Ah! Looking for someone? As a matter of fact, I am. I'm going to offer Hubert a position as my vice president. With him on the ticket, I can't lose. Not unless he agrees to be my vice president first. Oh, yes, Phantom. <laughs> Great. Hey, that sounds like Hubert. Oh, yes, Phantom. It is Hubert. If those kids don't suspect a thing, and by tomorrow, it'll be too late. I'll be school president, and their school will be a museum honoring the greatest villain who ever lived, the Phantom. We have to stop him. The only way to do that is to get the voters back on our side by stopping the mudslinging and running a clean campaign and winning the election. We can do it. It's not too late. The Rhino Review prediction. Dewey wins in landslide. It's too late. Good afternoon, and welcome to the Flying Rhino Junior High Presidential Debate with your host and moderator, Fred Smurfs. Oh. Today, Fred welcomes candidates Hubert R. Dewey, Ruby Snarkus, and Billy O'Toole. Psst. Read from the notes. I gave you the notes. Ew. Uh-oh, I'm... Looks like I'll have to wing it. Issue one. Uh, uh, beef jerky. Flying Rhino Junior High celebrates Flag Day and, and Arbor Day, but so far it's never celebrated Beef Jerky Day. Why? Billy O'Toole. Well, I... Ruby Snarkus. Beef jerky? Hubert R. Dewey. 
Uh, beef jerky of the people, by the people, and for the people. Yeah! Wait a minute. What he said doesn't make any sense. Yes, you too. What are you going to do about getting more beef jerky products on the cafeteria menu? Billy O'Toole. I... Not good enough. Ruby Snarkus. Well, I'd suggest that tofu is a trendy addition to the menu. Miss Snarkus, I know beef jerky. I live for beef jerky. And tofu is no beef jerky. Hubert R. Dewey. This is beef jerky's finest hour. <laughs> Mr. Dewey, you know your meats. Don't you see? He's a big phony and he's fooling you all. Issue three, beef jerky as a study aid. Don't listen to them. They're just jealous. He's a liar. You're both liars. <gasps> oh no, they've gone back to mudslinging. Stick to the real issues. Sneak, cheat. No, don't resort to mudslinging. You'll ruin everything. Phony. Vegetarian. You take that back. I'm sick and tired of this mudslinging. Stick to the real issues! He makes more sense than any of them, and he isn't even running. Fred's right! Uh, yeah. Listen to Fred. Listen to Fred. This debate is over! Oh, stick to the issues! The issues! Order. All set. I don't know if I can take much more of this. Forget all that. You've built a comfortable lead in the polls and it's time to coast. Only a complete disaster can ruin your chances now. I really have to hand it to you. Your plan was brilliant. It was? Yeah. Go ahead and gloat if you want. Psst. Psst. Really? Hidden, you say? Nice try, but it won't work. I bad mouth cheated, lied, and stepped all over people to get where I am today. By tomorrow, all the gullible fools who voted for me will be sorry they ever listened to Hubert R. Dewey. <laughs> uh, uh, is this thing on? Hello? Hello? Oh. Oh, no! Get a move on, you fool! Hey, there he is! Let's get him! Oh. Step on it, Fredericus! Step on it! No! <laughs> Oh no! Look out for the camera! The camera, Regicus! Whoa! Regicus, the wire! Catch the wire, Regicus! Whoa, 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 whoa! Why are you meant, Phantom? <laughs> Gee, I think I broke a tooth when I bit through this thing. I hold in my hand the election results, and I must say it wasn't even close. The winner, who wasn't even in the running, is Fred Sparks! <laughs> about the election results, are you? Nah.
neither of us really deserve to win after the dirty campaigns we ran. Yeah, M Mrs. Snodgrass was right. No one's a winner when you don't play fair, and this election proved it. Another victory for the democratic system. And one more for the files of Flying Rhino. I guess things turned out all right after all. Billy and I are friends again, and I think Fred will make a pretty good president. Let's get some new sea monkeys for the aquarium. The old ones aren't as lively as they used to be. Oh, and let's make Wednesday's underpants optional day. Yeah, I'm sure he will. So what's the lunch special today? Beef jerky a la mode. Ooh. 